Bob Laws has changed its mind. It will keep stalking French's ketchup. The details on this quick decision uh, and the turnaround in the background to it. Jeannie Lee joins us from the business unit. Jeannie. Well, uh, Carol, uh, you're right that it is, was quick because this was a day after Loblaw uh, informed uh, French's that it would no longer stock its ketchup. That ignited a firestorm of reaction on social media. Well, Loblaw has now changed its mind. So 90 minutes after I emailed Loblaw's public relations and vice president of corporate affairs and communications, here is an answer from Kevin Grow, the VP of corporate affairs at Loblaw. We have heard our, our Loblaw's customers, we will restock French's ketchup and hope that the enthusiasm we are seeing in the media translates into sales of the product. We will work with French's to make sure that we are in stock as soon as possible. Now, Loblaw had originally said that it started um, stocking French's ketchup back in 2014, but really saw very little interest, that people were not buying this, um, and decided to stop carrying it, which makes uh, retail sense. You know, product mixes uh, are, cha are, 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 uh, are change all the time, depending on response by consumers. but. The thing is, this brand has exploded in uh, awareness in the last few weeks, and it's because French has announced in January that it was going to buy um, more tomatoes from Leamington, Ontario, and to use these homegrown tomatoes in French's ketchup. And this was great news for the local economy because you know how uh, it has been hard hit by Heinz's decision to pull out after many, many years of producing ketchup in uh, Leamington themselves the tomato capital of the world. Well, exactly. And so an Aurelia man uh, took to Facebook and said, okay, I am going to buy French's ketchup. That post went viral. There was a call by an MPP for Queen's Park uh, restaurants and uh, the cafeteria to only use French's ketchup. So this was happening, which really made Loblaw's decision seem tone deaf to no longer carry French's mm. ketchup. Okay. So what was some of the reaction that led to their reversal? Oh, it was easy to find because we should say that this story was first reported by cbc.ca and by CBC Windsor. And right away on CBC's Facebook page, you had all kinds of uh, reaction slamming Loblaw for its decision. Here's just the sampling. Terrible timing, Loblaws. I plan to start buying French's ketchup for the barbecue season in order to support Canadian farmers. And from Joanne, I purposefully purchase ke French's ketchup because it is Canadian. Loblaws needs to carry French's ketchup to keep me as a customer. And Kathy says, I will shop elsewhere for French's ketchup and thumbs down to Loblaws for this decision. So it was a growing call to boycott Loblaws, you know, and... Uh, it was probably a decision that wasn't that hard to make because the fact is um, there was this reaction. Also, there are other stores that are carrying French's, uh, French's uh, ketchup, uh, Sobeys and uh, Walmart, for example. And in the cutthroat grocery business, you need every customer, and that's why uh, Loblaw probably uh, decided to uh, reverse its What uh, did Loblaw say that the reason for pulling it in the first place? Uh, well, they said that they had tested, they had they had carried it for mm. uh, you know at least a year and a half, uh, starting back in 2014, but that people mm. weren't buying it mm. in great enough numbers. Mm. But of course, maybe people weren't aware of it. Had you heard of French's ketchup before now? You certainly know about Heinz, right? And so, um, you know, it's true that maybe sales were slow, but what was also happening at the same time was this great explosion in the brand yeah. awareness. Where that people maybe... wanted to support Canadian farmers. So well, exactly. make Loblaws look like they were going to take the Canadian farmer product right off the shelf. It's all about optics, Bad, right? Yeah. I mean, remember, remember, French's is still an American company, so it's not a matter mm. of, a, a, you know, buying a, uh, a product from a Canadian company. It isn't that at all. It was to support the Leaming farmers that people really uh, you know it resonated with people that this was going to happen there's going to save some of the business that they lost when Heinz pulled out what an interesting story it was it's been great let's